In our last video, we took a look at a couple of watches from the Elgin National Watch Company. And we looked at the dials, and one of the dials was a hand-painted dial produced before the mid-1880s. And the other dial was a dial that was done by the transfer process that they had developed in the mid-1880s. Now, the watch companies at the time, they employed uh, dial painters, and every single dial that came uh, and needed to be fitted onto a watch at the factory, these dial painters would uh, paint the dials by hand. And so in the middle of the 1880s, uh, watch companies started looking for alternatives in order to produce dials more efficiently and more accurately so that they could do different designs on the dials. And it was around this time period that the, the artistry of uh, hand-painted dials started to to fade a little bit. So um, in the last video, we took a look at Elgin. In this video, I wanted to take a look at uh, two watches that were done by the Waltham Watch Company. And they developed a process around the same time period, but their process was a little bit different than the one that was uh, done at the Elgin factory. In Waltham, they developed a photographic process and so when we look at the dial up close we'll be able to tell um, kind of some remnants of how that process was accomplished at the factory so we've got two watches here the one on the left here it's not in the greatest shape but this one was produced around 1867 so this one would be absolutely a hand-painted dial and then the one on the right is around 1888 so this one would have been produced just after the time period that they started uh, the photographic transfer process. And you can see that the, the dial designs, this one is more um, intricate because they were able to reproduce these dial designs with more efficiency after they developed these processes. So I uh, wanted to take a look at these two, but first I wanted to show off this one. Now this is a watch that was produced around 1859. And so this would have been a hand painted dial as well. But what's unique about this watch is that it has Arabic hour numerals. Um, this was uh, fairly unique at the time because most of the dials were, um, they featured Roman numeral hour figures around the dial because it was, it was a lot easier to produce the Roman numerals um, by hand as opposed to the Arabic numerals. So this one, um, it's actually signed Appleton Tracy and Company. And again, it was produced around 1859. But we will take a closer look at these two, which represent uh, watches that were, were closer to what would be a standard issue at the time. So we'll take a look at this one first. And we will look underneath the microscope. And just like on the Elgin watches that we took a look at in the last video, we're looking at the signing of the dial. And you can see that the, um, the signing is done in a serif style. And you can see the inconsistencies there that are, uh, that suggests that it was a hand-painted dial. So then we'll take a look at the Roman numeral figures. And again, very similar to the last video, um, you see the faint lines uh, that are a little bit thinner, and then you see the bold lines, um, and that shows that uh, this is hand-painted. And then we take a look at the ring track going around, and look right there, a little bit of an inconsistency. And then we take a look at the seconds bit. And again, we can see very clearly that these are hand-painted numerals and hand-painted uh, ring track around. So this one's not much different than what we saw in the Elgin one in the last video, because this would have been done in nearly the same process. So 
Again, this one is around 1867. This one that we'll take a look at now is around 1880. I'm sorry, 1888. This one is around 1888. And when we look underneath the microscope, we'll take a quick look at how it's signed. And it says American Waltham W Company. And what we're looking for is it's different than the hand painted dial because this particular one, all of the letters look very uniform, um, almost like it was it was printed or stamped on. So that's what we're looking for. And then uh, the Roman numeral. Again, we get a, a thinner line, but it doesn't have that variance there. And then the ring track going around. Very, very uniform. Now you will see these breaks. And what that is, is it's just um, an imperfect transfer process. And so you'll see the little breaks in the line. And that's something that you'll see on these dials, but you won't see as often on the hand painted dials because on the hand painted dials, it's um, more of a, a clean stroke all the way around. Then we take a look at the seconds bit. So what's interesting about this one is that you can see, especially in this tin here, you can see how it's a little bit fuzzy on the edges and that's part of uh, the transfer process. And so what, what the Waltham company did, and this is the, the photographic process. So they would start out with a plate and expose it to light and that plate would have the design on it. And then after being exposed to light, it would, um, they would take enamel powder and sprinkle it on the, on the plate. And it would only be attracted to those areas that uh, were exposed to the light. And then they would uh, create a film on top of that and then put it on the dial. And so that would transfer all of the powder, the enamel powder in just those areas. And it would transfer over to the dial. And they would put that film on top of the dial. And then when the dial was fired, um, the film would burn off. And what was left was the enamel powder in the exact design that they wanted. So this allowed them to recreate these designs very effectively. But again, there's some imperfections. What's interesting about this right here is it looks like there um, may be a sharp object or something at the factory um, dragged across the film or perhaps the film got torn in an area because you can see where um, there's a little bit of a blip on that on the end of the five and then it kind of carries on through the ring track and then all the way to that Roman numeral one. So that's interesting. And then this is also another interesting part. So at the time, they were transitioning away from dial painters, but there were dial painters that were still employed at the factory. And so, especially early on when, when the transfer process was not perfected yet, um, the dial painters would actually go in and touch up some of the dials that had been done with the transfer process. So you can see right here, what I believe is there was probably too much of a gap um, there in that ring track. And so it was uh, touched up. The, the ink looks a little bit different um, right there underneath the zero. So I think that that was touched up by, by hand. So we'll just keep taking a look all the way around. So it's really interesting whenever you start looking at this under magnification, some um, just interesting things start popping out that you wouldn't notice if you're just looking at it um, with your normal eye. So, and right here, it looks like that no Roman numeral is maybe a little faint. And so maybe that's where uh, some of the enamel powder didn't get um, adhered properly. So, and then again, if we look at the seconds bit, this becomes more evident. You see the fuzziness there. 
Um, all of that is where the enamel powder has just adhered um, a little bit on the outside of the lines. And of course, then it gets fired and those become permanent. So that is a dial that was done with the photographic transfer process at the Waltham factory. So hopefully that'll uh, give you a few things to look for when you're looking at Waltham watches. Um, again, they use the photographic process. And from what I can tell, they continue to use this for several decades. Um, so even some of their newer watches, you'll, be, you'll still be able to identify some of the remnants of this photographic process and the enamel powder that was used in the production. So hopefully that gives you a few things to look for on Waltham watches when you're trying to determine whether the dial was hand painted or not. So if you'd like to see similar videos to this in the future, please like the video and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.